it looks very cool. I like the look of this. Weakness policy Haxorus as well. So we're playing now the Talon Flame, the Amoongus, Haxorus, Rotom, Ninetales, and Shandy. Going up against Primarina, Draco Zolt, um, Disclops, Hydreigon, Urshifu, and Talon Flame. Okay. We can definitely get a veil up with Ninetales, which is quite nice. We have to be careful for the, the tailwind from the opposing um Talon Flame, but I think Talon actually nine tails isn't a bad lead here. We have to be a little bit careful about the trick room going up from my opponent. Um, if they need Dusclops potentially and get Primarina set up, but then we do have a Moongus that we can bring in and kind of counterplay that. Uh, and I kind of want to bring Haxorus for sure because if we can get it in a good position, yeah, it's going to do some work. So let's go for it. Yeah, this is Stu's team that we're playing now. I gotta say it does look super nice so yeah thank you again Stu and thank you to everyone else that submitted teams tonight they've been a lot of fun to play around with had some rough matchups tonight but it's been a lot of fun either way so um what was my opponent gonna do here though I think it's weird that they got like the only trick room more uh, I guess they could they kind of trick us uh I don't know the Drake result doesn't feel like it's gonna be good in trick room it might be Min speed, I don't know if that really works that well though. Let's see what they do. Bebum, yes, this is Stu's team. Spec Shandy as well, yeah. It's interesting, like Spec Shandy's gonna hit like so hard, but it's there for a specific reason, I'm sure. Okay, Urshifu, Talonflame. Well, we've got a Tailwind to match their Tailwind. Um, and I think oh, we could Moonblast just to get rid of... Uh, it's kind of nice to get our Aurora Veil up while we got the opportunity to. Let's see what Urshifu they are. Are they the water? Yeah, they are. Okay. Because we can freeze dry them as well. Um, we'll Tailwind though. Get our Veil up. Okay. It's fine. It's a good job we got Gale Wings. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Because I think we're going to be able to make easy ish work of the Oshifu. Uh, let's get rid of. Are they going to have to Talon Flame here, maybe? No, they're going to have to Ninetales. Okay, it's fine. We've still got our, we've still got a Gale Wings, so we can definitely go after the Urshifu here. Um, okay, maybe we don't bring in. I think maybe just. Um, I'm gonna just double the Urshifu. Yeah, let's go for that. Right, we got another rental. So let me just, I'll just take a quick snap of that. Let's go for that. Okay, we should have just went for the blizzard here. We'll get rid of the ocean food, which is nice. Safety goggles there really saving our hide in the hail, which is a nice item to have on us uh, in the Brave Bird. Probably finish off nine tails anyway. Yeah, well, that's fine. That is a trade I'm super happy with. Like getting rid of ocean food makes things so much easier for us. Um, and now we can bring in Haxorus. You reckon we can sword stance up? Yeah, because they may bring in Primarina now. At least we've got to switch to Amoongus to kind of counterplay that a little bit. So, we'll see. Nappy, thanks so much for coming by as always, dude. And uh, I hope to see you Friday, mate. Have a great rest of your day and a good day tomorrow, mate. But uh, thanks as always for coming by tonight. Yeah, weakness policy and sword stance on Haxorus. <laughs> Just for overkill. Okay. This is perfect. This is ideal. Um, so let's max. We max Quake. Quake could be nice for 
Um, the Wormwind. Uh, I just worry about them switching into uh, Primarina here. That's the only thing. I don't know if the Quake will be enough to get it. That's the only thing. I think we need to go Wormwind. I don't know if even that will be enough to get it, to be honest. Let's go for the Wormwind. And let's go Brave Bird into the Talon. Weakness policy Shandy now makes sense because you have Haxorus can't touch Covenite. Yeah, okay, yeah, the yeah, Covenite does seem like a little bit problematic. Specs on Shandy makes a little more sense so you can nuke it. I mean, we do have the Aurora Veil up, so we are going to be able to take an attack, especially if we can put them down to minus one now. They're going to max, for sure. It'll be interesting how hard we can hit here, though. That's the thing. Let's see. Let's see what we do. Hmm. Oh, they get the Brave Bird before us. Okay. Okay. Roar Veil coming in clutch there. So we do take that. Now, we probably lose both Talon Flames here, I think. Maybe. Yeah. And we'll go down to the recoil. Okay. So it's the Dragon off. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see how much we can do. I don't know if this is the right move. I don't know if Max Quake is better. Mm, it's probably the better move in this situation where they've maxed. So we can get their attack minus one. They're still going to have life orb. We have got the veil up. They're going to put us down to minus one, of course, as well. But, okay. That's fine. That's manageable. What's coming in? Primarina? Ah, uh, yeah, the weakness policy, of course. I forget about that as well. Forget about the weakness policy, <laughs> which makes everything fine. Okay, we get a Moongus onto the field. And this kind of helps us in case that Primarina is in the back, so. It's a High Dragon. Okay. Huh. Okay. This is alright, though. Yeah, we have to go after. I mean, they could. Okay, we'll Max Quake. It's a high dragon at speeds is by one point, so we have to rage powder. We have to rage powder. They cancel. Okay. I kind of really wanted to play that out there. But I uh, obviously don't feel like they uh had a way to win. Thanks, Stu. Team's awesome, dude. Feels really good. Feels really good. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> let's take those wins. Okay, let's move on. Let's have another one. Okay, we got an next opponent. Let's see if we can. Pull this one back. Okay, another Talon, Dracozolt, Ocean Food, Primarina, uh, with Clefairy and Aegislash this time. Okay. Again, I feel like we can go Nine Tails, get a Veil up. Um, it's likely going to be Dark Ocean Food this time, which makes it a little bit better for our Nine Tails. Um, and again, we'll go Haxorus. Uh, do we want Moongus? Probably want a Moongus again. I mean,. Yeah, kind of like the idea of Chandelure here, but I mean, it's only good and relevant for the Age of Slash, really. So, yeah, let's go, Moongus. I think these four work again, so let's see. It's kind of a similar course, so it makes sense that they do. We'll go for that one. Johnny, you know what, mate? Just lead Haxorus and Ninetales and proc the weakness policy. <laughs> now I read that after I lock in. That would have been what, that's what we should have done. And uh, Bebum asking for Stu's team paste if he doesn't mind. It's a very cool team. It's a very cool team. I need to uh, I definitely need to feature this one. I do like it a lot. Haxorus is cool. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if we can win this one. This one might be a little bit tougher. This is a higher ranked opponent, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really mean anything. But 
start. Let's see. Ocean Food Talent. Damn lead. Is that water again? No. It's got its fist claws right, so it's the dark one, I think. Pretty sure it's the dark one. Um Yeah, okay. I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm kinda getting the hang of it. Get our Aurora Veil up. Um and yeah, we, we match tailwinds. We'll go from there. Bebham, Stu almost never builds bad teams. This is true. Stu, Stu is a very good team builder. Very good team builder. Builds a lot of really good teams. They will 100% support that. Typically, yeah, the water one moves around like he's flown. Yeah, dude. It took me so long to like figure out. Every time I'm like, which one is it? And having to click. I still do. You can see I, I still go on and check out which one it is. But I'm kind of getting there now. Um, the close fists suggestion was always a good a good help help for us. So this is gonna take talent. Oh, we take that. Nice. Okay. Now can we win a speed tie with the opposing talent flame? That's the question. Um, I think we'll just, hmm, I think we just Blizzard, Blizzard and Brave Bird. They may protect Urshifu, you know, and Flare Blitz and Ninetales. Gonna take a heck of a lot of recoil though if they do that. But they may just risk the speed tie as well and try and take our Talonflame down with their Talonflame, potentially. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to switch out the Urshifu, which is fine. 80779, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for the follow as well. Yeah, they're going to get the bird into our bird. Deny our brave bird. Can Ninetales get some freezy hacks, though? That's what we want to see. That's what it's all about. Come on. For the stream, freeze something. Come on, Ninetales. You can do it. No freeze. Disappointed. Disappointed already. Um... Hmm. Do I just get... Ah, oh, they're going to mat... Uh, wait there. Can I just... We haven't got freeze dry. I don't know if I can get... I mean, we can... Hmm, it's better keeping Haxorus around for a little bit later, maybe. And get Amoongus in now. Probably. Yeah, uh, the Aurora Veil kind of helps Haxorus out a bunch though, doesn't it? It's just if it's life or Primarina, it's going to do a... Nah, we can, we can totally max Quake and Blizzard again. We can do that. Computer Kids, thank you so much for coming out tonight, dude. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for the team. And um, take it easy, mate. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Nah, we're not going to Icy Wind just yet. We're going to max Quake into... The Primarina, yeah. Hopefully the Talon hasn't got, like, Will-O-Wisp. I think they're going to max Primarina, though. But there's always a chance we can get a very cheeky Blizzard Freeze from Ninetales. Let's see. But the, the Special Defense boost here should help Haxorus kind of tank and attack, get our Weakness Policy boost, and then we can make use of Icy Wind after that with Ninetales, as long as we're still on the field with nine tails i think you probably flare blitz here into our nine tails and a moonblast max starfall into haxorus so we'll see we'll see what my opponent does but that's what i would imagine to come out okay there's a flare blitz the recall alone should probably take talent flame down to be honest so we're gonna be single. T no, okay, not not quite enough. No freezes. <laughs> I'm so bad, hoping for the freeze every time. Um, we get the max quick. I don't think they they double down into uh, nine tails though. Eight or seven seven nine. Thank you so much for uh, the the the. Uh, the uh, subscribe there. Uh, uh, sorry, typically. Thank you so much for the gift gift from Bebum as well. Thank you so much. Uh, we do take it behind the veil and that defense boost 
Okay, I'm just reading things so wrong, but thank you so much for the uh, the sub there. Bebum as always, thank you so much, mate. So we get a policy boost, that's great. Um, I'm going to be able to get the Primarina the next turn. If the Urshifu comes in, we probably don't need to Icy Wind just yet. Just if something a little faster comes in, we might need to consider that. Because at the minute, we can just Max Quick and Moonblast. Because the Urshifu's Sash has been broken, which you would imagine it will be Sashed. We'll see. See what comes in. I feel like we're in a decent position now. Okay, Drake is all. Oh, it's tricky. Now, do they? Huh. Hmm. Do they max guard with? No, I don't think they do max guard. I think. They're gonna Dragon Claw us. I don't know if a Moonblast will be enough to get the Dracos up, but we'll go for this. I think we have to go for the Prim. We can't let it attack. It's probably gonna Max Guard though, that's the only thing. No, no Max Guard. Okay. Yeah. Let's just hope a Dragon Claw doesn't take us down. I'm probably, I think it's probably going to. Um. But then again, a Blizzard should take down Draco's ult and Urshifu. Potentially, maybe. A Moonblast will definitely get Urshifu. Okay. Oh, we take it like a champ. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Atiella, Navi, thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you do enjoy the stream with us. I can't believe how well we took that. Oh, the terrain's up, of course. Yeah, that's why. That is why. Okay, we're we're golden. Um, we're not so golden though because uh, sucker punch is still a thing. Um, hmm, maybe we're better blizzarding because Amoongus will be able to. Hmm. Yeah, at least Blizzard's gonna get damage onto both, and we can potentially, yeah, just go for a Wormwind. They're going to suck a punch though. Something. Just depends what it is they suck at. I'd imagine they suck a punch. Haxorus, potentially. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's not so bad. Because maybe we take another Dragon Claw after the minus one. Kind of prefer getting rid of the Urshifu as well, actually. That's the one thing, you know. Oh. The terrain up, of course. There's a hail, hail stops and we've got 2 HP, okay. Nothing like being saved by the bell. <laughs> and now we can just rage powder earthquake and it's done. So we're all good. And just hope that, um, well, I mean, we probably don't need to risk the Earthquake, do we? Not yet, because it could protect on us. And we don't want to, like, lose our Amoogus before it's, uh... I went back and it's due. I'm playing it a little safer. I don't want to lose Amoogus. Like, it probably would have been better to Dragon Claw into the Drago's ult, because it's probably got Aerial Ace. But we have got the veil up, so I don't think we go down to to an area list anyway. But I've just got to get rid of this sucker punch threat, and then it's fine. And then we can earthquake rage powder. Okay, there's the dragon claw. This should be enough. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No sucker punch there, so that's good. We could have just earthquaked. And there's the area list. Yeah. Oh man, that does nothing. 
literally does nothing. Right, now we will protect and we'll not hurt our poor little Amoongus and we'll Earthquake. Ah, we don't get to see it. Okay, very good game to my opponent. Thanks so much, Stu.